second two none from Davenport, Iowa, is undefeated. And this is his record, pretty impressive. 17 knockouts in his 26 professional fights. Darnell Knox from Detroit, Michigan, has only been beaten once, and he's knocked out 21 of his 28 opponents. We join the fight in round one, your commentator, Jim Rosenthal. So, Michael Nunn in the white trunks, tall, very elegant. Bob Arum, the promoter here in Las Vegas, say, saying as soon as he gets into the ring, you can see he's the boss. Darnell not so a rising star of that uh, Kronk gym in Detroit, has produced so many good fighters, including, of course, Thomas Hearns, here in, here in Las Vegas later tonight on a very cold evening to go for that unprecedented fourth fight against Juan Roldan. Southpaw Michael Nunn, 24 years of age and a very confident young man. Darnell Knox, his career really turned around after signing up with Emmanuel Stewart and he's won his last nine fights and eight by a knockout. But it's the speed of Michael Nunn that sets him apart in this middleweight section. And he's developed a flatter footer stance recently because he used to move around and be a little bit ineffective, lacking a bit of power. But Nunn changing his stance with great effect. And that looked like a bit like a clash of heads, really, and a shoulder went in too, but it certainly hurt Darnell Knox in this very first round. Referee Richard Steele, the third man in the ring. And that's a good start for Michael Nunn. Although I'm not too sure if it was caused by a punch or by a clash of heads, but nevertheless, Darnell Knox from Detroit, just one defeat out of 28 on the receiving end, and... Michael Nunn really warming to the task now, coming in with what looks like a smile on his face. But he took one there from Knox, fighting back well off the ropes. And they're really wasting no time in this very first round. Knox trying to score with that right hand that's his best weapon. And this really is a blinding start to this one. Taking no time at all to size each other up. Good counter from Knox. And again, the head going in from Michael Nunn. Knox fighting back, but very much on the receiving end of things. So we come towards the end of this first round. Staggering around, a little bit untidily, Darnell Knox. And I think he's picked up a cut, probably as a result. Let's have another look at this now. And it was indeed a clash of heads. And a very heavy one, too. And just catching Michael and just checking to see if he was cut and I think he's okay as they come out for the second round but Darnell Knox definitely marked up by that clash of heads and he's a confident fella Michael second to none managed by the Goosen clan in California Dan Goosen his brother Joe trains them it's a family of ten, so they call themselves Ten Goose. But he'll be looking now to follow up his early advantage, Michael Nunn. He's knocked out all five opponents this year. And he started this fight exceedingly well. Although well, the way he put Darnell knocks down might just be open to a bit of question. Downstairs from Knox. Michael Nunn, incidentally, has beaten Charlie Boston, who, of course, brought Errol Christie's career to a shuddering halt over here. He's criticised in the past for being a bit cautious, He's showboating there, not doing enough work for my money in the second round. But he's certainly winning the battle of the mines, Michael Nunn. He's certainly in the government at the moment. He's landed with three left hands there holding and hitting Richard Steele trying to intervene and he won't be too happy with that holding and hitting and not breaking when he's told Michael Nunn so in between all the showboating and the clowning and the elegance he knows one or two shady tricks and he's holding and hitting once again but he's got an air of confidence 
natural superiority about him. A lot of people avoiding him in the past. Being a southpaw doesn't help you get opponents, of course. Don't hold him, don't hold him right now. Really, Darnell Knox trying to find a way through, but it's been a very difficult couple of rounds for him. Comes from a very tough area of Detroit. He won't, you won't find Knox giving way. He's a very tough character indeed. And fighting well off the ropes towards the end of this second round. One little story about Knox, he was shot in the leg during a hold-up at a restaurant where he worked and because the bullet was too close to a nerve, it's still in his leg, close to his calf. Father died in the street ride in Detroit last year, so he knows all about the tough side of life and he's finding out about it from Michael Nunn as we come towards the end of the second round with Nunn dominating the fight. Just checking the cut Darnell Knox that he picked up in that clash of heads. Emmanuel Stewart in that corner and there's the Ten Goose clan looking after Michael Nunn Come on, let's go. third round 17 knockouts for Michael Nunn 26 victories all the other contenders major contenders seeming to avoid him he's ranked at 4 by the WBC 6 by the WBA and 7 by the IBF so he's right up there and an impressive victory here will probably catapult him towards a world title shot sometime in 1988. Good left hook coming in. He fires so well with both hands. And he's got such speed as well, Michael Nunn. And Darnell Knox with his mouth hanging open. He's already looking very tired early in this third round. That looked like a low blow, although it's the wrong side of the camera that one went in very low from uh, michael nunn and uh, well he didn't really need too much of that darnell knox he's having a, a tough enough night as it was and that was a very low blow indeed and i think i'm hearing richard Steele deducting a point and rightly so and he's going to take a few deep breaths of the cool nevada air before he's ready to continue and he is i'm sure we'll see that one again at the end of the round but that was uh, almost at kneecap level and it would have done him less damage if it had been round his kneecap, I think. But again, credit to Knox, he's being outscored. He's uh, obviously up against a, a technically skilled and a much faster puncher. Now a puncher who not only has hit him low, but he's now taking the mickey out there as well with a bit of the shuffling and showing him his target, his face, and pulling his face away can't take anything away from the bravery of Darnell Knox but it's a bit one-sided at the moment Michael Nunn fighting well within himself and picking him off almost at will with that southpaw jab <laughs> laughing and a bit of talking going in there as well from Michael Nunn saying you haven't hurt me with that one it's a very impressive all-round fighter more very tough moments for the man from Detroit Darnell Knox shoulder going in from Nunn as we were saying earlier on there's one or two of the shadier tricks of the trade Step back, step back clean. Let him go. Let him go. Watch the Another warning that you could hear as well as I could from referee Richard Steele. Very significant uh, opponent that none has fought. Marcos Geraldo. Fellow knocked out, in fact, by Michael Nunn, and he went the distance with both Leonard and Hagler. End of the third. And another little word from Nunn. Just, uh, just remind Darnell Knox that he is the master out there. I think this is a low blow and well that really hurt. Don't 
fourth round just to remind you they're fighting for the vacant North American Boxing Federation middleweight title here in Vegas six foot two Michael Nunn over 160 wins as an amateur very nearly fought in the 84 Olympics he lost the box off with Virgil Hill and Hill went on to win a silver medal and it's almost been a workout for him this evening and now he will be looking for a spectacular finish just to underline how he's developed his punching power Knox trapped right next to our cameraman in the corner and you can hear the chatting and Michael Nunn saying no you're not hurting me but he's stopping a lot of punishment now Darnell Knox and there's not a vast amount coming back here in the fourth his mouth open he's cut he's been hit he's been hit low of course as well but he's almost punch back time now and Michael Nunn opening up and Darnell Knox hanging on but surely he's got to produce some more if this fight's going to be allowed to continue well he's got a habit of getting knocked about Darnell Knox and coming back but he's going to have to produce something absolutely spectacular to get back into this fight and they're already around me at ringside people are crying that he's had enough and he's really tired and all the significant punches and all the work is coming from Michael Nunn in the fourth round even none had a little look at him there to see how much more he could take although he's although he's hit him once low with that left hand it's a, it's a terrific shot when he throws it Michael Nunn and Darnell Knox almost being bent double by its power as he varies his punches too and then steps back as though he's almost got bored with the whole affair see Emmanuel Stewart taking a close look at his man Darnell Knox in the corner just under 30 seconds to go in the fourth it's now one-way traffic totally for this very impressive middleweight Michael Nunn he has been the boss from the moment he's gone in there knocks down in the first from a clash of heads and now getting really worked over Well, we'll just follow Knox back into his corner at the end of this round. End of the fourth. Just eavesdrop what's being said in there. No. No, I, think, I think I was going to stop it, Daniel. I'm going on my no, Well, that's the voice of Emmanuel Stewart saying he thinks he's going to stop it. Knox wants to carry on, but he's saying he's taking too much punishment. Emmanuel Stewart, I think, has pulled his man out. He has... Michael Nunn, a very impressive winner, and now he says he wants 